Good evening. Good evening. Hey, can you hear me? Hello? Hi, yes, teacher. Hi, thank you. I was having some inconveniences with the microphone. Thank you, thank you. How are you? How are you? All, all right? All okay? All fine? All fine. Okay, good. Nice, nice to see you again. Two more classes <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, today and two more classes. And everything is gone. It's true. Believe it or not, it was so fast. What day is today? Friday 17. Yes. February, Friday, Fe February, February 17. That's right. This is our class number 18, imagine. So weird. <laughs> Next Monday is going to be the 20th, right? The 20th, we're going to have our class 19. And then the 21st, we're going to have our class number 20. That is a very interesting coincidence for the number of the classes and for the dates right that's interesting actually okay good evening good evening karen lady i see you have the cameras i see you are ready <laughs> it's a way of relaxing on friday night <laughs> okay <laughs> great Yes, this nothing compares to parties, karaoke. <laughs> it's a way of exercising our memory, our minds, our brains, our neurons. It's good. Well, actually, this is the women's power class because we are all women. <laughs> yes, empower women. <laughs> nothing can beat you. Okay. All right, nice. Actually, uh, March the 8th is Women's Day. It's an international day of the women. So, great. <laughs> it's a good thing we are just, okay, we can talk about men here. <laughs> and this day, I go to Miami. It's true. So, you are not going to take the next course, or are you going to take the next course from Miami? No, I, I don't take. <laughs> Imagine joining classes from Miami. <laughs> no, no never, never. <laughs> all night, all night, I think. Uh, I have an invitation. Parties, parties <laughs> shopping. Uh, restaurant, shows, shopping. Yes, whatever. <laughs> yes. Imagine you have an invitation to go to a show or to shopping on the mall, and you say, No, I have a class. <laughs> no, never, never, never. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> That's impossible. Yes. I know. I know. It would be terrible. It would be a disaster. <laughs> yes. Actually, there are so many things you have to do in the state. So many things to do, definitely. Yes. And a lot of invitations, definitely, to go. I, sí, sobre todo eso. To eat. I visit a, a Magic Kingdom in Disney uh -huh. in Orlando. Two days. Oh my God, send pictures. <laughs> it would be nice. <laughs> sí. So you have said you have social media. Do you have yes. Instagram or Facebook? Uh, Instagram, Facebook, and uh, Twitter. Oh my God, but so you're I don't, posting. I, I don't 
use? Use to my private pictures. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we cannot see your photos. <laughs> I, I, I send you one picture. Okay, only one. <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. A postcard. <laughs> <laughs> a yes. postcard from Miami. Okay. And what do you enjoy the most? The food, the trips, the places, the people? The shopping. shopping. <laughs> there are good discounts and good offers and a lot of things. Yes, true. That's true. I, mean, I like the shopping in Miami. Um, you need money, uh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> a, a lot, lot of money. money a lot of money True. i'm sorry i have the flu i told you i was not feeling well yesterday so i got the oh, flu mm -hmm. if you see my nose is very red because i've been blowing my nose pero ya tomó algo es que la vez pasada yo me la corté como dice la gente o sea inmediatamente sentí los signos y empecé a tomar un montón de antigripal obviamente sabía que me iba a repetir la gripe no se deja tan fácil She's, I mean <laughs> the virus is not that easy you know to attack they say okay you kill me this time but you see my revenge <laughs> So, ahorita lo he dejado porque the weekend is coming. So, yo digo, I'll see what I can do with the chicken soup, with the honey, with the tea, with the lemonade. But I'm not going to attack the virus so soon, this time. But on Monday, if I don't feel well, I'm going to go to the doctor again. And I'm going to say, look. <laughs> Here is the virus again. <laughs> What happened? Porque es que fui y, y la doctora solo me dijo, ah, es alérgico, pero tomes estas lonatadinas y vaya, ni siquiera un día, ni siquiera me, fue, me dijo, vaya a la casa porque estoy pasa hablando nada. So, en that, in that time, sí, me, me tenía como cortaditas la, este, la garganta. garganta ajá, y tenía infección. And she said, no, it's fine. So this time I'm going to go again. Y le voy a, le voy a decir, look, look what happened. I'm feeling bad. Three days more. Uh -huh. So that day, no, porque then, esa misma semana justo le doy a una compañera, le dio, y una semana le dieron. Le tocó un mal doctor, de esos y que no. les gusta que trabajen, no descanse, trabaje. No, yo lo que, lo que considero es que ella es así. Bueno, otra compañera mm. volvió a ir y así. Lo que pasa es que la, en la clínica empresarial y mi otra compañera fue lista. She didn't go there. Ella fue a la <laughs> clínica cerca de su casa. Y yo, mm. pero this time she will see. <laughs> <laughs> she will see me sneezing and coughing <laughs> in the clinic. <laughs> spreading the virus. And, and now I try to, I try to stay away from people thank god this class is virtual so we don't have contact <laughs> because otherwise it would be really difficult it's very uncomfortable porque nosotros como teachers no podemos estar con mascarilla o sin hablar es mentira we need to speak for the class mm -hmm. so it's so uncomfortable but anyways si me ven es mi si es por eso okay. like yesterday i was like <gasps> <laughs> holding it <laughs> all right bueno ya se nos unieron más partners igual only women women and power oh, ahí está Julius really where is yes. he ah la J esta J Green que está aquí el Julio ah entonces bendito mamá <laughs> bless de seguro va manejando Presen, presen, presen. No, estoy Bye. con llanta baja, estoy cambiando llanta, perdón. Bye, Julius. <laughs> the eternal problems from Julius. The traffic, the gracias. car, the technical gracias, gracias. problems. I know. Technical support. Yeah, you need technical support, definitely. You can call the, the agency. <laughs> okay, let's have the attendance anyway, after our big conversation. <laughs> Veamos, ¿dónde están nuestras? Eh, aquí está. Ver, buscar la fecha correspondiente, de corresponding date. 
Ah, okay. Friday 17th, right? Let's go. Brenda. Brenda? Not yet. Okay. Daniel? In a party. <laughs> Daniela Alejandro in a party too. Daniela? Present. Daisy Tatiana? Present. Dolores de Los Angeles? Present. Juliana? Present. Helen. Present. Jonas. Jorge. Disappear, this Jorge, right? Julio. Ya no hablo por ahí. Present, present, present. Hi. Karen. Present. Hi. Present. Thank you. Uh, lady. And Ruth Evelyn. Present. Thank you. Yeah, I see. Okay. Wait a second. Oh, what's this? Okay. <laughs> Some people reported an inconvenience, an issue with the platform. Okay. Great. Okay, as I was mentioning, this is our class number 18. Two more classes and we're done. Let me see. Let's share the screen to see what's coming, what's coming on for today's class. All right. As I mentioned, yes, class 18, session 18. The reminders of our courses, these are definitely the expected behaviors and conduct, right? And the class objective. So at the end of this session, participants will be able to make requests, make good for polite and formal requests. So use could, right? Could, could, could. It's very similar to the pronunciation of would. Could, would, should. <laughs> Those are very, very similar words. Okay, could, would, should. So you practically ignore the letter L, the sound of L. There's no sound. So you say could, would, should, right? And we're going to start by describing our previous class, the class from yesterday. Talk about the class from yesterday, what you remember. I'm going to give you one minute de hacer memoria, and then you can tell me what you remember from yesterday class, okay? Just um, an idea, vocabulary, phrases, the discussion, the exercises, the conversation, the structure, the vocabulary. Traten de organizar primero su idea. So when you turn on the microphone, you have a clear idea of what to talk about. Okay, I'm going to give you one minute for you to prepare your participation. Yes? Yes. All right, perfect. Organize your ideas, collect your ideas, refresh your memory, <laughs> recall, recall the ideas from yesterday's class, check your notes, check the manual if it's necessary, if you need to, and then we express. All right, let me know when you are ready. 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 Yeah. Go ahead, Miss Evelyn. Yeah. Uh, yesterday, I talked about um, uh, tech support uh -huh. and sentence to the sentence with the would like to. Yes, we created um, sentence we would like to. Mm -hmm. And Equipment. Equipment. Uh -huh. Equipment. Uh -huh. 
Uh -huh. We need a uh, tech support. Yes, and the equipment in that the we office. need tech support with uh, in the office. That's right. Very good. Excellent. Somebody else is ready. Yes. Someone else. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you have very similar ideas, it's okay. The idea is that you express, that you show your confidence speaking or expressing in English. That's okay. Uh -huh. Nobody? Oh no, that's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Somebody has to. Describe the issues with the air conditioner. Uh -huh. By the way, Miss Evelyn, did you get your air conditioner fixed? Yes. <laughs> Earlier in the morning, the technical arrived to the office and fixes the air oh, conditioner. I am so happy thank with God. him. <laughs> yes, we were concerned. We were thinking. Maybe Miss Evelyn got her air conditioner fixed. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, nice. I'm happy to hear that. Yes. Anything else, lady? I want to put this problem uh -huh. in what form and como vamos a... How to fix the problem. What to fix the problem. Uh -huh. True. Okay. Someone else? Anybody else? Teacher, one question. Yes, tell me. Um, difference uh, between a uh, problem uh -huh. and trouble. The same. It's a it's a synonym. Son palabras que tienen el mismo significado. Uh -huh. Trouble, problem, and issue. Oh, okay. Yes. They mean the same. Yes. He said, oh, no, this this machine or right now you are in trouble. <laughs> you have an issue with your car. You have a flat tire. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You have it's a down. Yes. All right. Someone else? All right. No problem. No more ideas? Vaya. Como ayer estuvieron expresando sus wishes y sus desires, con, would like to? Sorry. I'm sorry. Ok, ahora le van a escribir dos. Dos cosas que desearían en el chat. I would like to. Escribo. Anoche en la clase pasada las estuvieron diciendo. Ahora escriban. Let's see what you remember. La cosa que le gustaría que sucediera. <laughs> I would like to travel. I would like to live in Paris. All right. A ver, two minutes para escribir two wishes. Yes, on the chat. Okay, one message already. 
I would like to do training as an expert to earn so much money. Okay. <laughs> I would like to have more money. Yes, me too. <laughs> okay, times two. <laughs> yes, I would like to make more money, definitely. Okay. I would like to have a, a better schedule at work because I'm usually working from 7 a.m. until 5 p.m. So I think that's why we are getting tired and we are getting sick. Yes. Mm -hmm. I would like to drink coffee. Yes, I would like to drink an iced coffee <laughs> because I love iced coffee. I would like to know Madrid in Canada. Oh, yes, I would like to be in Madrid in Canada. I would like to travel there. I would like to travel to Paris. Yes, I would like to be 20 years old again. <laughs> Maybe not 20, porque a los 20 todavía la solvencia económica y no es de <laughs> Maybe 23. Yeah, por los 23, I used to have a job already. <laughs> okay. All right. I would like to have a glass of wine. That would be great. <laughs> I would like to travel to Canada. Uh huh. Yes, that's great. I would like to go on vacation to Colombia. I don't know why. I just have the idea <laughs> to go on vacation to Colombia. I would like to have a big house at the beach or in the beach. Yeah, that's great. Uh -huh, that's a good idea too. Okay. What else? What else? What else? Very good. Very nice examples. Remember, would like to and the verb. Would like to have, would like to go, would like to visit, would like to travel, right? That is the structure. Okay. For today's class, we have a reading. Vamos a iniciar con un reading después de haber hecho el review de la clase anterior. Este reading is acerca de los printer qualities and answer the questions. It says read about printer qualities. Lo dividí en dos uh, images porque no cabía en una sola, así que vamos a primero leer acerca del color and the resolution. ¿Cuáles son las cualidades que ustedes buscan en un printer? Ustedes dicen, I, I like this printer, me gusta la calidad de este printer. Entro, entre esas qualities mencionan el color. Continuación. Resolution. Ajá, ¿qué más? What else? Speed and... Memory. Okay. Um, All right. So they mentioned in this color resolution and memory. Todavía no llegó otro. Okay. <laughs> it's true. Bye, Miss. <laughs> Miss Evelyn. Ahí le mandaron un message. Oh my God. No lo vi. It's for you. <laughs> Pero ver. ¡Ah! Me sirve. Jesús Mor de la Mister, pásame el teléfono. More information. Please, more information. Busque the telephone. The telephone. WhatsApp. Please. Actually, porque no la contactamos. Usted le faltó aquí. El marketing. No. Yes. Para Valentine. All right. I like the wine. <laughs> I, I have wine in my fridge too. <laughs> okay. When I cook in and this day uh Sunday, mm -hmm. I I am a cooking mm -hmm. and I I I have a was uh I have a wine a glass wine. Uh -huh. uh, when I cooking. Yes, to relax. <laughs> oh okay. my God, so beautiful. <laughs> yes. All right, so let's continue reading about the printer's quality. 
¿Todos tienen printers? ¿O usan yes. printers en el office, at home, para el homework de los children? <ríe> ¿Qué nos Teacher, yes. I have a question. Sí. El, el printer es, sería nada más el impresor chiquito o la copiadora grande, porque nosotros tenemos de las dos. Una, la que son escritor, muy funcionales y todo, que tienen más, más options. Todos yes. son, o sea, siempre y cuando tenga la opción de imprimir es printer. Aunque siempre tenga, sería el printer. Es el printer, photocopier, algunos dicen multifunctional, como que tiene varias opciones. Ah, ok. Uh, pero sí, dentro de la, en la categoría de printer. Ok, mm -hmm. okay so las qualities, dice color. Color is important for users who need to print things. More ah, presentations. Or maps in other pages where color is part of the information. Color printers can also be set to print only in black and white. Color printers are more expensive to operate since they use two ink cartridges, one color and one black ink, that need to be replaced after a certain number of pages. Users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of pages will find the black and white printer cheaper to operate. Resolution. Print the resolution. The sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dots per inch. DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. And then, I'm going to continue with the speed. If you do much printing, the speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Memory. Most printers come with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte that can be expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out pages with large images or tables with lines around them, which the printer treats as a large image. Bye. Hay un poquito de vocabulary, pero it's nothing que no pueden ustedes hacer, okay? So, read. And after you read about the qualities of the printer, pues definitely hay un par de questions, ¿verdad? Why is color important for some users? What does DPI stand for? O sea, ¿qué significa el DPI? Why are color printers more expensive? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? What is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Bah. Antes de que practiquemos en grupos, quiero que traten de dar como un fast reading. Traten de leerlo y de buscar si hay algunas palabras difíciles o de significado. Okay? Try to find the difficult words.
okay, any difficult word? No? From any of these two, from color, from resolution, from speed, or from memory. They used to in cart, 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 cartridge. Yes, cartridge. But what's the main cartridge? The cartridge de la empresa. Ah, cartridge. De la tinta. Ink is tinta. Ink cartridge. Cartridge. Is certain? Certain. Certain. Uh-huh, específico. Cierto número de páginas. Uh-huh. Certain. Number of changes. Char the chart, chartness. Chartness. Char la precisión del texto mm. y las imágenes en el papel. Chartness. Um, amount, amount es costo. Puede ser un costo, una cantidad, un número. No. Mm. Costo. Y help, helpful. Que sí, es muy servicial. Ah, Help, service. Helpful. Helpful. Ajá, que ayuda. Servi ayuda. Mm. Servicial o ayuda. Algo que ayuda, usted dice, ah, esto es muy servicial, me sirve. Ah. Es very helpful. ¿No? Porque viene la palabra help. Ajá. Ajá. Okay. And treat, printer treat. treat. Eso está en la otra. Memory, printer, memory. tweets as large imaging. Ok, printer, street. Tweets. No. Which the printer tweets as a large imaging. Ah, es como tratar. En realidad el verbo ah. es tratar, pero las, las impresoras lo tratan como un como una imagen, le dan el mismo trato, ya sea una línea, ah. pero ellos lo ven como, la impresora lo identifica como una imagen. Ah, ok. That's all. All right, thanks. Someone else? Hi, ¿no? Oh, my. Entonces vamos a leer obviamente todo el artículo, yo lo dividí en dos páginas para que se viera, pero ustedes lo tienen en el manual, igual si lo quieren se lo comparto igual en image. Y luego tratamos de responder las questions. ¿En las questions hay alguna duda sobre qué pregunta? Why is color important for some users? What does DPI stand for? ¿Qué significa DPI? Why are color printers more expensive? What is something important for someone who prints a lot? And what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? Como el número, la capacidad de memoria que traen las printers, right? Okay, great. Veamos con quién nos corresponde esta vez. Working, working. Better not.
¿Qué es lo? ¿Vamos a responder las preguntas o qué? Sí, tenemos que leer todo el, todo el artículo y responder las preguntas. Vamos a leer primero y después a responder. Ajá. Así es sencillo la ticha. Exactly. Okay. Daniel. Ok. Read. 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 Because in that space of color, don't yes. specific what is oh. the most important. Uh, read the... Tiene que leer... And number of page users who don't have a specific need for color and who print a lot of page will find a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Yes, Tatiana, usted quiere leer la siguiente? Sí. Res resolution. Res Printer resolution. The sharpness of text and images on paper is usually measured in dot per inch DPA. Most inexpensive printer provide sufficient resolution for most purpose at 6 100 no 600 600 600 dpa julius yeah speed okay uh if you do much printing the speed of the printer becomes important inexpensive Printers uh, print only about three to six six uh, per minute. Color printer is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Okay. In my turn, memory. Most printer can with a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. That can be expensive expanded by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printed out page with large images or table with lines around, the, around them, which the printer treat as a large imaging. Yeah, next. 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 Hoy, next le, toca, hoy le toca a Karen leer color. Karen. Okay. The color, verdad? Yes. Color is important for user who need to print pay for present presentation. Presentation. Presentation or map. And other pay where color is with color is part of the information. Color printer can also be visit to print only in black, only in black and white. Offer the certain number of packs. User will don't 
have space specific need specific. for color. Is it need for color and we print a lot? Print a lot of paper. Will film a black and white printer cheaper to operate. Julius, our uh, resolution. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, okay. One second. Uh, resolution. Uh, printer resolution. The sharpness of text, text and image on papers is usually measured in mm. dots per inch DPI. Most inexpensive printers provide sufficient resolution for most purposes at 600 DPI. DPI. Tatiana? Speed. If you do, if, if you do much printing, the spin speed of the printer becomes important. Inexpensive printers print only about three or three to six sheets per minute. Color printing is slower. More expensive printers are much faster. Okay. Daniel. What is it? Memory. Memory. Most printers come with a, a small amount of memory. For example, one megabyte. That can be expanded by the, by the user. Having more than the minimum amount of memory is helpful and faster when printing out page with large images or tables with lines around them which the printer treats as a large image. Excellent. Okay, ahora respondamos. Uh, why, is, why is color important for some users? users? It's very, yeah, very easy. Why. No, why? no. Ah, porque es importante. Uh -huh. uh, yes, uh, why? Why is color important uh, for some users? For user okay, tengo, tengo una respuesta. Es, de hecho, estaba armando la ahorita. I uh, dice uh, the colors is important is important for users when the information to print include image or text in color. Eh, mm, bueno, yo diría que el mismo párrafo le da la respuesta. Sí, correcto, Ajá. correcto. Ahí lo da. Aquí está, uh -huh. mira. Who needs ah, habla de page? habla de yeah. mapas o de presentaciones. Yeah. For presentation or map in the other page when where color is part of the information. Yeah. Okay. This is an what, for equation one. Okay. What does DPI stand for? That's per inch. In dots. Punto per por inch. pulgada. That's per inch. And yes. why are color printer more expensive? Ah, eh, sería esta. Are more expensive operate signs they use two ink cartridge, one color and one black. Um, es, o sea, es más cara porque utiliza dos cartridge. They, since they use two ink ¿cómo es? cartridge. Cartridge. Um, I'm not Cartridge. sure. Cartridge. 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 Uh -huh. What is something important for someone who prints a lot of? Sería esta. The speed of the printer becomes important. Be the become important. And uh, in the five, uh, I don't know. Esta sería la cuatro. What is amount of memory the most printers come with? No. Es la primera, el primer párrafo de memory. A memory, the most printer come with a, a small amount of memory, for example, one megabyte. Mm -hmm. Tienen con un megabyte. 
One megabyte. Okay. All this right. is the, the so, answer. To what? Entonces dijimos, why is color important for some user? The answer is. Um, ah, aquí está. Green page for presentation or maps. Hang on their page. Ah, esto sería entonces. Yes. Ay, lo nino. Hoy sí que estaba terminado de matar. Esta es la uno. La dos. Who does TPI stand for? Dots per inch. Puntos por pulgada. Per inch. Lo que está en paréntesis va. Lo que está antes de paréntesis. Interresolution. No, sería lo que está después de measure is usually usually measured in dots per inch. Uh -huh. ¿Dónde está eso? Uh -huh. Está una línea arriba de los 600 dpi. Es is usually dos puntos. Ajá. Después del paréntesis. Uh -huh. Is usually Adelante. Es. es que en el paréntesis dice the sharpness of text. Dice eso. Uh -huh. Ah, pues adelante del paréntesis. Fíjate bien la segunda línea al inicio. Uh -huh. Dice in dots per inch. Stop inch. Y entre paréntesis está DPI. DPI, ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, pues eso significa in dots. dots per inch. Eso significa las, las iniciales o las siglas. Dots per inch. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. okay. La otra dice Why are colors printers more expensive? Y eso sería ¿Por qué el color Printer Porque las impresoras a color son más costosas Ajá Porque las impresoras a color son más costosas Aquí en la tercera línea dice Color Printers are more, are more expensive, more expensive uh -huh. to open in their use to ink cartoons. Mm -hmm. okay. Ah, pues solo se puede poner, se puede poner, because they use to ink cartoons, cartridges. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Because Because they use to ink cartridges. Uh -huh. La respuesta corta y lo que ella pregunta. They use uh -huh. to ink car cartridges. Cartridges. Creo que me esperó. Okay. La otra dice, what is something important for someone who prints a lot? Yes, Eso sería. ¿Cuál es? ¿Qué cosas son importantes para...? Tuve que ser lo de la velocidad en speed. Speed. Okay. Sería... Prince, a love slow. Aquí está en speed. La velocidad está de la Aquí está Become la, la velocidad es, es muy importante. En la primera línea dice que es importante. Sí, dice para como si imprimen mucho la velocidad es que importante. Yo creo que es el número 4 porque la hace más lo rápido. Necesita, no, lo que te pregunta ahí es what is, qué, o sea, qué es algo importante para alguien que imprime mucho. Pienso Ajá. que la respuesta sería en la parte de color, sería mm, find no, a black and white printer cheaper to operate. No, pero en velocidad comienza con esto porque dice es Speed for the printer, o sea, hay que oh, sí. o, si hacen muchas copias, algo así, o si hacen muchas impresiones, del speed for the printer, the velocidad también es importante. 
Uh -huh. Sí, porque dice, if do you print in the speed of the printer becomes important. Entonces sería... Podemos poner... Podemos poner... Inexpensive printers. What about? ¿Cómo va lo de DPI? ¿Cómo así? Eh, es en base a la resolución, por eso decía del sharpness, que es la nitidez. Lo que pasa es que en relación a las, a las impresoras, hay impresoras que si usted tiene un amigo que vende impresoras, bueno, antes, había unas Exxon que un amigo me las regalaba. El negocio, ahí están las tintas. Quien hizo más negocio con esto de las tintas fue HP. Hola. Sí, porque sí, ahora... Porque HP, los cartuchos, los cartuchos de HP, ellos eran, sí, sí eran groseros, porque los cartuchos eh, tenían que 10 ml, 15 ml y carísimo. Y una vez que se, o sea, se agotaban a tirarlos, gente así, algo de refilar pero se corría el, res, el riesgo de dañar el hard drive. Entonces, ¿Qué, qué ah, es salía el, más caro. ¿Qué por, es el hard drive? Eh, el cabezal, el cabezal. Ah. Entonces, eh, en, eh, salía más caro porque dañar un cabezal era prácticamente tener que cambiar la impresora. Entonces, pero el gran negocio de ellos es la tinta. Aún así, están, eh, vendían las impresoras caras. Eh, lo de la necesidad de, de las impresoras es algo relativo por ejemplo ahí hablan de que se pueden configurar las impresoras uh, para que impriman solo en negro y lo ideal en casi todas las oficinas sería eso, imprimir solo en negro muy, muy rara vez se imprime en color no siempre y lo que sucede es que si usted está imprimiendo eh, en negro pero no ha configurado para imprimir solo en negro la impresora está usando los cuatro cartuchos. Para hacer el utiliza negro. Utiliza para hacer el negro. Entonces, se sí. está yendo el color negro y se están yendo los otros tres colores. Hay sí. una impresora que la movieron, eh, Exxon, la promocionó a morir como que a la gran impresora, y la verdad son buenas. Pero uh, estas vienen en bolsa, las tintas vienen en bolsa. Se llama, son las World Force. Entonces, uh, cada bolsa anda como por 60 dólares. Suplir eh, esos cuatro colores anda a qué? A, arriba de los 200 pesos. Y esas bolsas de color, uno no sabe en qué momento se van. No sé cómo rayos se gastan tan rápido. No, no compensa lo que realmente hace la impresora con el costo que se está... Uh, lo que se, con lo que se está gastando lo It's ideal es, sí, es mucho lo ideal es comprar una impresora uh, hoy en día Exxon muy bien, uh, con las de tanque de tintas, porque esa por cartucho, por color va a gastar ¿qué? 15 pesos como mucho de 12 a 15 pesos pero uh, está obteniendo un beneficio porque está imprimiendo sus 7 mil páginas y está gastando Right. Mm -hmm. 
Did you finish? Yes. Did you finish? Yes. All Teacher. Right. All right. All right. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Question number one. Why is color important for some users? We need to print page for presentation or maps. Uh -huh. When we need to print pages for presentations or maps. Especially images, right? So that you cannot have just in black and white because you think it's better if you print it in color right right all right what does dpi stand for uh -huh. dots per inch okay dpi means dot per inch Y es la definición, ¿verdad? Con la que sale la image. Mainly. Why are color printers more expensive? Uh, use it to tool in cartridge. They use. Since they use. Two in cartridges. Cartridges. Uh -huh. They use the one for black and the one for color, right? Right. Uh -huh. What is something important for someone who prints a lot? Speed. Speed. The speed is important because you need to have a lot of things printed. And what is the amount of memory that most printers come with? One megabyte. Okay. Sorry. One. Okay. All right. Everybody's done. Yes. Great. Awesome. All right. Fill out a complaint. Okay. Do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Do you ever fill complaints form? But what is the meaning of complaint? Anybody? Mm. Complemento? Mm. Close. Do you ever close, 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 close. Complementario. Complementario. Uh -huh. Do you ever feel complement? Queja. Queja. Ah, queja. Complain. Queja, correcto. Mi hermano dice, tengo un complain. Queja. Eso es como cuando uno deja un, una queja en, el, en un cajoncito. Ajá, eso es algo que no le pareció. Como, como suggestions, como lo puso la Ajá, sugerencia. Sugerencia, es correcto. Esto, la complain es va, va más allá, más, más formal. Por ejemplo, si usted compra algo... Eh, y de repente le salió defectuoso pero usted va y dice mire yo he sido mi, mi, mi garantía o qué sé yo pero le dicen no pero es que usted lo arruinó no sé qué. entonces usted pone una queja ya un documento formal y usted dice no realmente eh, venía defectuoso yo exijo me rifa o no, que me cubra la garantía o qué sé yo so, en el salvador <ríe> es, es el salvador pues, no sé, de, de repente se dice que el cliente tiene la razón, pero muchas veces se topa con estas situaciones de que no, usted realmente no tiene la razón y así le haya salido defectuoso el producto. Entonces eso debería haber como un departamento donde usted pueda poner los complaints. Acá la gente lo que hace es amenazar a las companies o a los negocios con ir a la defensoría. 
Pero da resultado. No, claro, ahí sí rapidito la, la empresa dice, no, vamos a responder, porque les conviene mejor hacerse responsable por algo más pequeño que les vaya a caer una demanda de la defensoría. Eso pasa muchísimo con las uh, telephone companies. Increíble. A lot. So, do you ever complain about the broken items at your workplace? Do you ever fill complaints forms? Entonces, un complaint form es como un formato donde debería usted nada más llenar la información y poner la queja. Pero, que tengan eso los business, no creo. Usted lo tiene que hacer literalmente, a veces de puño y letra, ¿verdad? Y decir todo por lo que se está complaining. Yes. So we're going to go to the conversation. Just listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with the partner. Mike and Maria. Yes, again. <laughs> but I don't know por qué al final le ponen Mario, but it is okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. The computer, right? So they're talking about the work terminal in the computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Igual acá les decía que debería ser Mike, ¿verdad? Al final. So, eso es como, ah, rápido reaccionó y pone pues la queja por escrito. Pero... In our reality, it's totally different. En más acá, in the country, no existen ni los refunds, ¿ok? Si usted ya no está con, como bien, no está eh, feliz o de acuerdo o contento con el producto, y usted dice, no, yo exijo mi refund. Acá no le dan un refund. Es muy difícil que le vayan a reintegrar el dinero. That's too difficult, ¿ok? So, once again... Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't work. It didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. So, esta persona, pues llama. Se queja y le dicen, pues, le vamos a mandar como el form, o sea, el formulario. Lo llena y le reenviamos otra computadora. Así de easy. <laughs> Pero in our cases, would be, no, you didn't take care of the computer. You damaged you and, and, you know, it's like non-stop. So, what we do is better look for somebody to fix it or to repair instead of complaining for something that was broken probably, okay? Or something that was damaged. Aunque yo tuve un case that maybe I didn't expect, but it was like very, I mean, it was very obvious that I didn't damage anything. I got a, a refrigerator long time ago for my mom who lives in Ilovasco. They send the refrigerator there. They follow all the steps to connect it and to turn it on and everything. And the fridge didn't freeze at all. They have it like for two or three days and then I call the store and they send a new a new refrigerator and they pick up the old one. So then they follow the procedures and they still have the refrigerator. So it was the previous refrigerator that was not working. So something was already damaged. Okay, so thank God in that in that case, the store uh, answered positively, so I, as I expected. So I was like really pleased because, I mean, it was not just twenty dollars; it was about five hundred dollars. <laughs> I say, yes, I need this refrigerator that is broken to be replaced for. Uh, new refrigerator that is working that is in good conditions so i was relieved that happened okay so hay algo de la conversation que necesitamos describir o more explanation yes any question any doubt si sí, yo en el 
en el tercero de Mike. Uh -huh. Y que le dice que no le pueden entregar una computadora en ningún tiempo o algo así. No, le dice, bueno, le voy a enviar a alguien que lleve el formulario de, de la queja. Usted lo llena y we send a new computer. Le vamos a enviar una, una computadora en nada de tiempo, o sea, en lo más ah, pronto posible. Poco tiempo. Ah, ah, muy poco, poco tiempo. tiempo. In no time. Okay. Uh -huh. Teacher, um, yes. why say about my work terminal? I don't really get it. Probably it's the equipment the, or they have like no, different no, computers no. installed. Like um, it's just many computers probably. So ella como que tiene una de todas esas computers que yes. están conectadas. So it would be probably a call center or <laughs> any other the I mean any other place where many computers are connected. So it's hers. Teacher, teacher. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Eh, la palabra terminal normalmente se utiliza cuando son equipos conectados a la red. Mm -hmm. eh, en sus inicios eran terminales no inteligentes, o sea que no se podía hacer mayor cosa con ellos. Right. Siempre uh -huh. se son, 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 por eso que escribe entre paréntesis computadora. Computer. Pero ya en el término, ajá, computer. Pero ya uh -huh. cuando eh, están conectadas en red con otros equipos que pertenecen a una red de área local, se les conoce a estos que terminal. dependen de un servidor como terminales, porque Exacto. están conectadas a un servidor. Uh -huh. es, era justamente, gracias por la, por la explicación más técnica. Es raro que le estaba a decir a... a... A Daniel, que es como, no es una sola, sino que son varias conectadas, entonces es como una terminal de, de todas las demás, ¿verdad? puede ser como un centro de cómputo o un call center, que todas están como linkeadas a un server. Ajá. Ok. Anything else? No more? Sure. Bye, regálame un segundito. I think I have something right here. Déjenme ver. No sé si están viendo ustedes el manual. Are you checking your manual? Yes. Yes. Ok. Bye. En cuanto a esta conversation. Veamos. Wait a second. En cuanto a esta conversation, solamente tenemos la conversation y two questions, right? It says, um, wait a second. Mm -hmm. Tenemos tal, el manual dice, get in pairs and discuss the following question. What expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? And what seems to be the problem with the computer? O sea, ¿cuál es la expresión que él utiliza para mostrar que la solución está en, en proceso o en progress? Y ¿cuál parece ser el problem with the computer? Además, tenemos este como esos diagramas, ¿ok? Estos son como getting trios, poner al centro algún equipment, algún piece of equipment, ¿ok? Write down two more reasons to file a complaint. Write the name of another piece of equipment at the center of the second diagram and possible complaints about. Como poner ajá, acá el equipment o la máquina, lo que sea, y dos razones para las que se podrían escribir un complaint, por las que usted podría enviar una queja, ¿ya? O un reclamo, ¿ya? ¿Yes? Entonces, esto obviamente lo tendrían que escribir acá si lo tienen impreso. If you have the manual the version of the manual printed or si no dibujar okay so first practice a conversation i mean try to answer the questions and try to describe what other reasons cuál es otra posible reason acerca de otros equipos ustedes podrían tener para hacer un complaint okay so basically practice a conversation answer the questions and do exercise four Clear? Clear. Ok, perfecto. Bueno, los groups que tenemos están un poco grandes, 
Pero tuvimos una pequeña dificultad que no se unieron a los otros. Déjenme ver si esta vez la podemos distribuir de mejor manera. Hopefully. One, two, three. Yes. Ahorita solo estoy esperando que finalice. <risa> eh, Jones. ¿Qué onda ahí? ¿Qué pexi? Aquí. Hacer el ejercicio. Va. Are you ready, Jones? Háganlo, pues. You don't ready? Se volvieron a poner Mario. <risa> Dolores. Hola. I am Mike. I am Mike, and you are Maria. Okay. Thank you for you calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. Hello, en la tercera parte, este presentar dos razones para presentar una queja y con nosotros y ubicar los complaint también. Entonces, de momento, iniciamos con la lectura. Practicar right. la lectura. Ajá. Y ya luego uh, dar respuesta. All right. Julius and Jonas. Be... Perdón, perdón. Jonas and Lady, begin. ¿Va a ser la práctica, Jonas? Sí. Jonas. Do you have a conversation? <laughs> You are Mike. Ah? Jonas, your microphone. I I don't hear you, Jonas. No le escuchamos, Jonas. No. Bueno, entonces. Ah, bueno, um, Julio. Lady. Okay, you. lady. Me are Mike. You are lady. Maraya. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. Hey, are you the problem? It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn today. Let me send someone with a complaint with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You are welcome. Hoy vamos inverso. Sí. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to fill a, com a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday. And it didn't tour on today. Let me send someone with a complaint for it. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Ahora una vez todo usted y una vez todo yo. Bye. Completa. Sí, completa.
My name is Bye. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to I use field or file. The file. File. Uh -huh. I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. Uh, it, was, it was very slow yesterday. And I did a tour on today. Let me send someone why a complaint for. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. You're Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Ahora las preguntas. Preguntas. What expression, say, what expression does mine to use to show a solution in progress? Yo pienso que es la, let me send someone write a complete for compliance. Uh -huh. Let me send, uh -huh. me permite, me Yo una strain. Well. Bueno. Okay. Okay. Um, first answer. First answer, what expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? Uh, Mike, Mike says, uh, let me send someone with a complaint form. And uh, we can send a new computer in no time. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Second, uh, what seems uh, to be the problem with the computer? Um, very slow yesterday, and did did it today? Okay. Yes. Uh, somebody's writing the answer. <laughs> I don't. Pero ahorita las escribo porque si es necesario. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. What other piece of equipment? And great. Sorry. ¿Qué otra pieza ponemos? Ah, otra pieza, computer. Yeah, good. Computer. computer uh, Las computadoras tienen, cuando se daña, cuando tienes algún problema con la memoria RAM, tienen un, y ayer lo estábamos hablando, esa expresión. Uh, ¿Cómo decía? Uh, un ruido raro. A noise. Uh, uh, ajá. Entonces, tienen un patrón de, 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 de pitidos. Hacen pi, 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 pi. pi algo así. Entonces, clásico, generalmente eh, es la memoria RAM, tener que o darle limpieza o es que tronó en sí. A strange noise. A strange noise. Es correcto. Oh, Entonces right. sería computer. Ah, pero no, he, no se ha terminado el primero, el de printer. Oh, yeah. Ah, tiene, sí, tiene tre, dos espacios más sin llenar. Mm. In the printer, 
I'll write, I'll write down two more reasons to file a complaint. For example, bad connection with printer. Uh, yes, but uh, this is a, a, a problem. Uh, que podría detectar el... Bueno, sí, sí, la bad connection, sí, ¿verdad? De una vez le da una... Perfecto, me parece. Um... Eh, otra razón puede ser que imprima eh, líneas. Um, yeah. texto, texto cortado, como cortado, con rayitas. Mm, impresión. Mm, or, or bad resolution. Um, for example, yeah, I don't know. Bad printer resolution. Uh -huh. Yeah. Sí, sí, eso está bien. Creería que bien. And the computer? A strange noise. And uh, what more? What else? A strange noise. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sería repetir, decir que no enciende también. Veamos algo Or... más. Eh, está, yendo, está yendo rápido, está... Or a slow speed? Uh -huh. Low speed. Podría uh, ser bad connection to internet. Es, es parte del modem, pero también es eh, en ocasiones es mala configuración a nivel de, de computador. Or file connections. Uh -huh. Bien. La conexión falla en la conexión. Pues sí, ¿cuál es la cuatro? No, la cuatro ya dijimos que de computer are freeze and blue screen of death. Of death. Uh -huh. Entonces, si quieren, leemos another. Ok. Ok. Uh, I'm a time. I I am Mike, and you are Maria. Danny, Danny, okay. Maria. Okay. okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Um. Hello. My name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to fill a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer on in, in no time. Thank you. Hola. You're welcome. Vaya, ahora ustedes dos. Okay. Usted, Mike, eh, Daniela. Mike. <laughs> okay. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to find a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. that. Please describe the problem. That. It was very slow yesterday. And it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint for we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Ahora okay. yo voy a, yo, yo, ahora yo quiero ser María, vaya. Okay, yo voy a ser Mike. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for calling the okay. IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to, to file a complaint about my work terminal com computer. 
I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a compliant form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome to the um, ubiquity. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ya, ya podemos trabajar en un call center. ¿Ya? <risa> Aunque sea hello, podemos decir. <risa> Por lo menos le vamos a decir, hello, my name is Evelyn. <risa> Can I help you? <risa> uh, Can I help you? <risa> y me va a decir, no, a mí nadie me puede ayudar. Porque odio este animal que no me funciona. Ay, no. Es tremendo con esa gente. Sí. La verdad, sí, ese, ese, sí, trabajo es bien pesa ese trabajo es bien pesado. Tiene que, no, la verdad es que uno tiene que ir preparado psicológicamente. Because of office not working. Ok. ¿Sí? No, guarda el carro. En la mesa quedó la llave. Ah, pues sí, yo creo que también es los tres. Sí. No, muy bien. Creo que sí. Es que al principio se, sí, pareció un poco confuso la indicación, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, hasta que este me dijo ya y entendí todo. Y quizás como decía, of equipment at the center, eso quizás era la parte con él. Y yo también me quedé viéndola un buen rato, las dos diagramas, yo. Sí, ahí todo. Ya. Ya. Sí, yo estoy hallando la lógica. Así que todavía tenemos tiempo, ¿verdad? Sí, todavía. Si quiero, practicamos la otra vez las conversaciones. Ok. ¿Empieza usted o empieza yo? Empieza usted para escuchar. Bueno, la leo completa, vamos a ir uno por uno, uno tornándolo. Ah, mejor, mejor, tornamos. Right. Ah, pues, este, voy, a uh -huh. voy a empezar con Mike para que usted diga lo, lo que lleva más información y escucharla. Bueno, está bien. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa. And I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me sound, no. let me sound one. Why a complaint for? We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Ahora empiezo yo, le toca a Sí. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and I didn't turn on today. El it, dígalo it, si no se va a confundir siempre. And it, and it didn't. Uh -huh. it. And, huh? and it didn't turn uh -huh. on today. Um, let me send someone with a complaint for We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. Ajá, que acuérdense que el it, como es el, el, el pronombre de tercera persona. It's a it. Uh, it, ajá, it. Así, así como usted lo ve, como se escribe, así lo va a leer, así lo vemos, it. Ok, it. Cuando tú lees el I, el I de yo, es I. Y el de uh -huh. I'm sorry to hear uh -huh. that. Hear or hear. 
Ie, Ie, es como con Ie, si usted hace con... Ready. <laughs> okay. We're going to listen to some people reading the conversation. Mi amor, vamos a hacer en el mismo orden en que estamos. First one was uh, Daniel, Julius, and Lady. Second one was Daniela, Dolores, Juliana, and Ruth. And the last one was Brenda and Tatiana. Ready? Ready. Okay. Okay, Daniel's group first. Who's gonna do it? All right. Julio. Hi, hi Daniel. I'm, I'm here. Are you okay. ready? I need... You are mine. I need to start. Ah, okay. All right. Okay. okay. Yes. I'm Mike. Un segundo. Uh, thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Uh, let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. And the answer, teacher? Oh, no. No, just a conversation. It's all right. We're going to listen okay. to the other groups and then we compare the answers. No problem. Okay, second okay, group. Yeah. Miss Evelyn's group who's going to do the conversation. Okay. Daniela. Daniela. Help. Help me. Dolores. Tenía help apagado, me. El, tenía apagado el micrófono. Daniela, you are Mike and I'm Maria. Okay. And thank you for calling the aid department. Hello, my name is Evelyn Mendoza and I need to find to file a complaint about my work terminal. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. I w it was very slow yesterday and it didn't turn on today. Let me see. Soon one with a complaint form, we can send a new computer in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> describe, describe the problem. Please describe the problem, all right? And the last but not least. Yes, that's the me. Yes, go. Thank you for calling. Thank you for calling the IT department. Hello, my name is Maria Ochoa, and I need to file a complaint about my work terminal computer. I'm sorry to hear that. Please describe the problem. It was very slow yesterday, and it didn't turn on today. Let me send someone with a complaint form. We can send a new computer into time, in no time. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, nice. 
Okay. The question. One second, please. It's here. I'm sorry. The questions regarding this. Okay. It says, what expression does Mike use to show a solution in progress? Uh-huh. Let me send someone with a complaint form. Yes, let me send someone with a complaint form. Yes. And what seems to be the problem with the computer? I was, was very slow. It was very slow. Uh-huh. And, and then and it did it didn't turn on. Ya me encendió. It didn't turn on. <laughs> okay. So, in this part, pusieron algunos examples de equipment que puedan necesitar hacer un complaint for bad functioning. So, porque están broken or damaged. You can write any example. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. Like the printer, uh -huh. it doesn't work, it's too slow, it only prints in black and white. Uh -huh. Eso podrían ser algunas reasons para complain acerca de un printer. ¿Hicieron algún otro ejemplo? The computer, uh, the computer are free, freezing. The computer is freezing, uh-huh. And blue screen of death. <laughs> El pantallazo azul. <laughs> he has the blue screen of death. <laughs> yes. Microsoft Office not working. Microsoft Office is not working. Uh -huh. Because it's pirata. <laughs> <laughs> it's not original. <laughs> it's not the, the pay license. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Any other example? Any other example? No more? No more. Okay, no more. <laughs> no more, no more. Yo pienso que estoy en el Que van a proyectar los examples y todo. Y los diagramas. No, teacher, too much. Too much, too much. Bye. One second, please. ¿Se recuerdan las questions de ayer? No. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Bye. Podríamos avanzar, avanzar en contenido, pero nos quedan dos clases, entonces no podemos como decir, vaya, ya terminamos, ya no vemos nada. Es imposible. <risa> Entonces, vamos a ver lo de los complaints o lo de los requests con could and can next Monday, que es el contraste. Es lo mismo, lo único que usted hace could y suena más polite, más formal. Así, y usa can y suena un poquito más informal. Obviamente, eso, eh, cuando usar could o cuando usar can, usted lo va a decir dependiendo del contexto. Si usted tiene, digamos, como confianza o se lleva con alguna persona, no hay problema puede usar can y no le está ir respetando simplemente que hay como un grado de confianza y could cuando usted quiere tratar a alguien con mucha formalidad y sonar como muy muy respectful yes, eso es todo ok, okay. Uh, I'm sorry but it's, starting, it's killing me <laughs> this flu is killing me Bye. Kill me softly, softly. Killing me softly with this flu. Bye. Let me just get the, the page I was getting here. Okay, hold on. Vamos a wrap up con esto. Y luego la tendencia and we're gone. Gone with the wind. Hoy se las vamos a hacer todas. All of them. All of them. Yes. Eh, qué bonito. <laughs> the country. The, west, the western. The western, yes. 
Ok, vamos a empezar upside down con los que están más calladitos. <ríe> con Julius vamos a empezar. Number. One, one. <ríe> bueno. Ok, how do you say planchador en inglés? ¿Alguien le queda esta tarea? Juli, por favor. Ah... <ríe> uh... Iron transfer. Board. Iron transfer. Para no, mí funciona. Iron board o iron in board. <risas> Dice, para mí funciona iron transfer. Es un pro, en el proceso de sublimación de camisetas. Okay. Se utiliza una plancha. Para, uh -huh. Se utiliza una plancha. Ajá. Sorry. Okay. Sí, puede ser. Puede ser. Ya como en términos como de de industry, ¿no? como términos industriales, ¿ok? Ajá, correcto, Ajá. Sí, correcto. Sorry. ¿Ah, sí? One second, one second. I need to drink water. Ok. All right, let's continue. The next person is lady. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, 25. 25. What time do you take shower? <laughs> uh huh. Uh, yes. What time do you take a shower? Uh, at six, at five. Uh -huh. Six or six. Twenty five. Six and six twenty five. Six. Oh, All right. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Next one is Karen. Number? Um, five. Five. What's your favorite hobby? Um, <laughs> um, well, uh, listening to music? Listening to music. Uh -huh. All right, thanks. Brendita. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. A number. 22. <laughs> 22. Yes. All right. <clears throat> Mention three classroom of verbs. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> classroom verbs. <laughs> Como acciones que usaría en el classroom. Um, study. Uh -huh. Study. Uh huh. Read. Read. Um. Teach. Teach. <laughs> okay. Yes. Very good. Dolores. Um. Six. Mm, sí. okay. yes. <laughs> Mention three parts of the house. Uh, living room, mm -hmm. uh, dining room, mm -hmm. uh, bedroom. Bedroom. All right. Nice. Next is Tatiana. Fifteen. Fifteen. Yes? Yes. All right. How is the cuarto de lavado in English? Uh, room. Wash. <laughs> wash room. <laughs> wash room. <laughs> Car wash. <laughs> Laundry room. Ah, no. 
Ah, vaya, pues. Va, eso, por eso va a elegir otro. Fourteen. Fourteen. How do you say? I don't know, madre. No sé cómo se dice adornos. Sí que estaba lucky. This, this Mejor story. cambie de fila porque solo de eso le sale. <risa> Se le sale ahí. Uh, How would you say sí, adornos navideños en inglés? Christmas decoration. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Vaya, sí, sigamos con Juliana. can't hear you. <laughs> Three. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Tell me five parts of the body. I think I said I get to you. Uh-huh. Okay. I can write it in chat. <laughs> Tell me the five part of the book. Oh, uh -huh. No se le escucha el audio, Juliana. Something happened to the microphone. Something happened. Hey. Shoulders, knees, and toes. <laughs> uh oh. Tell me what you do. Eyes, nose. Eyes, nose. Hand. Hand. Okay. <laughs> Daniel. I would like to select two. Uh huh. Okay. All right. And seven. Seven first. Uh -huh. My birthday is in twenty fourth of July. No way. Yeah. The twenty fourth of July. Okay, and the next one. And the next one is eighteen. Eighteen. All right. The lion is my favorite <laughs> animal. You like the lion. All right. Nice. Okay. <clears throat> Who hasn't participated? Miss Evelyn, I guess. Yes. Um, 26. 26. All right. <laughs> Uh, because I need learning English to my travel. Zoom, zoom, zoom. And I and and I and I speak uh, with the other person in Miami and Orlando. And I buy in speak English. <laughs> Nice, perfect. I need to communicate in English because I want to travel and I want to go to different places and I want to communicate and I want to speak with other people. Good. All right. ¿Quién quiere elegir otro? Who wants to choose another one? Yo. All right, Tatiana. Number. Uh, 23. 23. Wait a minute. Here. Ajá. How do you say lavar la ropa en inglés? No. Solo de eso le sale. ¿Alguien que la ayude, Tatiana? Wash the clothes. Could be wash the clothes or... The laundry. Exactly, ellos tienen esos términos. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Ajá, uh -huh. says I do the laundry on Saturday. I do the laundry on Sunday. I do Mama. the laundry cuando cae el agua. <laughs> when there's water. 
<laughs> okay, que es terrible. Okay, on weekdays, viene un poco más temprano, but on weekends, super late. So I stayed up like at midnight on Saturday night to do the laundry. Okay, well, thanks for participating. Let's have the attendance. Okay, it's a good practice. Friday night, Brenda. Hey, your teacher. Okay. Daniel Trejo. Present. Daniela. Present. Daisy Tatiana. I'm here. Dolores. Present. Juliana. Ya la vimos, Juliana, y escribió las parts of the body. Se le fue el audio justamente. Y me cambié el teléfono. Um, <laughs> really? Para participar. Ay, sorry. <laughs> ok, Hailey estaba por ahí. Present. All right. Yes. Julio. Karen. Present, present. Yes. Lady. Hey, Miss. Okay. Great. Present. Yes. Present and goodbye. <laughs> Present and goodbye. Okay. Have a nice weekend. Be weekend. Take care. Enjoy. Rest. Sleep. Get up late. Prepare yourself for your breakfast. Get up late. Don't yeah. drink a lot. Don't drink a lot. Yes. <laughs> right now. <laughs> Miss Evelyn is ready. Yes, Miss Evelyn, don't drink our beer. She needs wine. She's not drinking alcohol. <laughs> okay. A little, A little bit. Nice. Yes. <laughs> wow. I know, I'm dying. I feel like I'm crying. <laughs> if you see my eyes, like, look. <laughs> I have like dark yeah. spot and, and tears. I'm sorry. Uh, have a good night. God bless you. See you on Monday. Enjoy. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.